Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd Continuing on in our study of the treaties Have Mercy Upon Salafiyya by Shaykh Badr al-Utaybi Hafidhullah Ta'ala The Shaykh said, Whoever Allah the Most High honors with Salafiyya and the Minhaj of Ahl Sunnah it is upon him to strive to be upright and firm upon the methodology of the righteous Salaf in all his statements, actions, and situations by which he worships Allah the Most High. So it lets us know that we have to practice. We have to make tatbiq of this minhaj, that we have to actually practice and try to actualize the, the minhaj of the Salaf. Because what you find now, days, and even prior to this time, but especially now, because of the internet and so forth, you find uh, the call in general to Dawah to Salafiyya, you find many people who call to this, or claim this, I should say. Many people who claim to be Salafi, claim to be from Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah, Kathra. However, the reality is different to that. You have the, the Takfiri saying they're Salafi. You have supporters of IS, or Daesh saying they are Salafi. You have supporters of Akhwana Muslimin who say they are Salafi. You have even Jamaat Tabliq. If you ask any Tabliqi whether he follows the Salaf, he's going to praise the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in because they do believe and they love the Sahaba in general radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in. However, that is not sufficient. It's not sufficient to make a claim. And this is why one of the principles that we constantly mention in our uh, lectures in Durus, al ibra bi haqaiq laysa bi musammiyat, that the proof or the reality of something is in its substance, not in what it's called. So it isn't sufficient that someone says, oh, I'm Salafi, I'm from Ahl Sunnah, I'm this, but when they're not practicing it, or they misunderstand it and they misrepresent it, that's not sufficient. But what will suffice you with your Lord is what is sufficient. And that means you have to call to what you practice. Ya yuladina amanu lima takuluna mala tafalun. O you who believe, why do you say that which you do not do? Uh, all throughout Kitabi la wa sunnatu rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it shows us that we have to practice. We have to practice. It isn't sufficient just to claim that we're Muslims. It isn't sufficient to claim Salafiyyah, to claim to be from Ahl Sunnah and not practice the principles of Ahl Sunnah. So that requires ilm. It requires knowledge of what, who is Ahl Sunnah? What is, what does it mean to be from Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah? What is the madhab of the Salaf? We have to know who are the Salaf? How can you follow the Salaf? How can you practice the Dawah to Ahl Sunnah and you don't know who the Salaf are and you don't know anything about their lives? You don't know anything about the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala majma'in who are the head of the Salaf. They're the Ras of, of the Amr. Ras of the, the, the Salaf of this Ummah. When we talk about the Salaf, we're first and foremost talking about the Sahaba. If we're talking about Ahl Sunnah, we're talking about the Sahaba. They are Ahl Sunnah. They are Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah, the Asl. And then those who follow them in righteousness until the Day of Judgment. So they set the precedence for us. The Prophet said, The Prophet said, The best of uh, you is my generation, then those who follow them, then those who follow them. Then the Shaykh, he said, after emphasizing that we have to practice, he said, this is istiqamah, which is linked to iman. As Allah the Most High said, indeed those who say our Lord is Allah and then remain firm, the angels would descend upon them saying, do not fear and do not grieve, but receive good tidings of paradise, which you were promised. So that's uh, what our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned in his book that Indeed, those who say, our Lord is Allah, and then remain firm. So that shows us that what? That you have to practice. You have to be firm upon the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. How can you be firm if you're not practicing what is uh, true Salafiyyah, what is true Iman? You have to practice. 
You have to practice it. It isn't sufficient to have it on our tongue. And may Allah forgive us all of our many shortcomings. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Indeed, those who say our Lord is Allah, and then remain firm, istiqama, the angels will descend upon them, saying, Do not fear and do not grieve, but receive good tidings of paradise, which you were promised. Don't we all want that? Isn't that all, what all of us desire? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا رَبُّنَ اللَّهِ ثُمَّ اسْتَقَامُوا تَتَّنَزُّلُوا عَلَيْهِمْ الْمَلَائِكَةِ أَلَا تَخَافُوا وَلَا تَحْزُنُوا وَابْشِرُوا بِالْجَنَّةِ الَّتِي كُنْتُمْ تُعَدُونَ so Allah has promised them Jannah. Allah has promised them Jannah. So that is a beautiful reminder. Allah said in the ayat, وَلَا تَحْزُنُوا وَأَبْشِرُوا بِالْجَنَّةِ Receive glad tidings of Jannah. Do not become sad. This is how we want our iman to be. But it's only going to come through practice. All of us have this these shortcomings. But we just have different levels. Some people, they practice uh, what they preach. And, uh, you know, those are the ulama, those are the rabbaniyun, and, they, and even from other than them, there are those who practice to the level of their ability. And then there are many other peoples in between that, who some, some call to the sunnah, but they don't really practice. They're weak in their practice. And some less than that. Some are, the, then there's the hypocrites, wa'iyadhan billah, may Allah protect us from being amongst them. The point is, is be on istiqamah, actually practice uh, the son of the Messenger of Allah, it isn't sufficient just to claim Salafiyyah or claim the Sunnah. Then the Shaykh mentioned, he said, also Muslim narrated in a Sahih upon the authority of Sufyan ibn Abdullah al Thaqafi radiallahu ta'ala who said, I said, O Messenger of Allah, say something to be, say something to me about Islam so I do not need to ask anyone after you. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Say, I have Iman in Allah, and remain firm thereupon. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, you know, be upon kul amintu billah thumma istaqam. That's a beautiful, simple hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Say that you believe in Allah, then be upright, steadfast. When we break it down like that, as the Prophet wasallam said in it with his Jawam al kalam that he was blessed with, you know, his his uh, the Prophet wasallam was blessed with speech that sometimes he would give something, a very short statement which was full of immense benefit and meaning, and this is one of those situations. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Say, I have iman in Allah and remain firm thereupon. If we just practice that, then we would have the reward, those, those glad tidings of paradise. We would have the benefit in this life as well as the hereafter. The Shaykh then said, So mere iman is not sufficient unless a person remains upright and firm upon its milestones and symbolic acts of worship. Similarly, a person merely ascribing to Salafiyya is not sufficient unless a person is upright upon the way of the righteous Salaf in every principle which differentiates them from the people of innovation and desire. So Ahl Sunnah has to distinguish themselves from Ahl Bida wal Ahwa by practicing the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and adhering to those qawaid and principles and the usul of Ahl sunnati wal jama'ah. The Shaykh then said in the introduction, he said, in this article I speak openly about what many of my Salafi brothers quietly think about due to what they see from many people who nowadays ascribe to Salafiyya. Whereas in reality, these same people are harming it due to their disgusting actions and shameful statements to the extent that, some, that people insult pure Salafiyya due to them. And people have turned away from Salafiyya due to their harsh mannerisms, insults, and abuse. There needs, I don't need to make any statements regarding that. That's clear. Why the Sheikh wrote this and... As he mentioned, there has been a conspiracy of silence. Many of us, of the people, have been in fear to be 
fearing, unfortunately, the statements of their brothers because they saw so many people misrepresenting the Dawah. And may Allah bless us to be of those who represent the Dawah to Kitabi Allah wa Sunnah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the Medhab of the Salaf in a manner that pleases Allah Azza wa Jal. And may Allah forgive us of our many shortcomings and sins. Wa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ala Nabiya Muhammad.